I don't have to repeat all the stuff you just said. Right. I think you know where I'm coming from. No, I understand. Yeah. I understand perfectly. But but what I was doing, what I viewed this as, was making an investment. <laughs> okay. I, I was helping somebody. And 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 I, I said to a friend of mine, uh, a real good friend, and and I and I love them dearly. That you know, the older I get, you know, we've got a mission, and we're we're not even we're not even part of the way there yet. We're, we're, we're making, we're building the infrastructure, we're moving in that direction, we're gathering people up, we're disseminating the information, they're able to judge for themselves, do their own research to prove us correct. We always tell people, look, don't take my word for it, folks, check me out here. I have very few people who have ever challenged me over the years. But here's the point, that we, we are just building the infrastructure to inform people. Once that happens, that's when the real work starts. But to break through that paradigm that people find themselves in out there, it is just amazing. Look, I got to run here, Julius. Thank you. Thank you so much. I appreciate your call, Roger in Pennsylvania. I've got loaded uh, phone lines here, and and coming up next hour, uh, maybe we can steal a couple of uh, minutes out of the next hour. I've got uh, Victor Thorne and Lisa Giuliani uh, from Wing TV coming up in the next hour. So uh, let's roll the phone calls. Roger, go ahead. Yeah, thanks, John. Yeah. A couple, a couple uh, items there uh, is uh, now that's uh, that was obviously. Uh, on the blood uh, slash Clayton's letter, it had elements of his style and whatnot. Well, no, they, it was it was a letter was sent to me. Oh yeah, yeah. I, I know. I'm just saying, as you were reading, it was obviously his writing. Yeah. But uh, I've yet to hear anyone simultaneously in the same document complain that, or not complain, but state that they were both fired and that it was a letter of resignation. Well, and but but it, this is it, obviously inconsistent. Well, it, it's inconsistent right from the start here that he was not fired from this network. He was given several options. He was the the door was open to come back in and to do the job that he was hired to do, but he chose not to do it. Now you get these executives and whatnot are asked to submit their resignations, but they're not fired. No, I didn't. As a matter of fact, I didn't even I didn't even uh, officially fire Jack Blood or terminate his services on this network. Because he had no intention until he was ready to trans transition over to GCN, he had no intention of telling me that. So that was interesting. Roger, thanks yeah. for your call. I appreciate yeah. it. Jim in Kansas. Hello, Jimmy. It's Tim in Kansas City, but hello. Oh, sorry. <laughs> um, yeah, uh, just to let you know, one of the whole reasons that I found RBN was because of uh, uh, following uh, Alex Jones after uh, you know after his show ended and Jack Blood came on. That there's how I ran into you, and I've seen how you, uh, you used to work for GCN, right? Yeah, I, I no, I was never paid by them. I was just an independent guy that uh, I just had. I was grandfathered in and granted two hours on that network. I, I guess out of either respect or sympathy, because I was the one that founded their network. Well, I'm still not understanding the issues. I mean, we're all fighting the same battle here. You know? Ah, but here's the thing. Here's my point here, though. Mm -hmm. uh, my my point is that we've got to do this. And we've got to do this with more honesty and integrity. Other, otherwise, why go through all the gyrations and all the strenuous stuff when you can join the other side and they'll, they pay better? Well, we, we, we've got to, we, what's up with me. I mean, I'm, I'm in these chat rooms in American Sovereign Patriots mm -hmm. listening to you guys uh, doing all kinds of research on my own, and I run into a lot of people who want to argue over little bitty details and the slight opinion differences whenever... Yep. We're looking at the source material. I mean, heck, we got this administration wanting to put up everybody had everything to do with Iran Contra and opium, you know. Right. We got some issues here. I just don't understand what's the issue with GCN. <laughs> I don't know. Is there an issue in your mind with Genesis? I don't know. I've seen it uh, about a year or so ago that uh, you're saying they were messing around too. That you're trying to get some simulcasting going and stuff like that. No, actually, what I had said, uh, and I think this is might have what you what you have heard. What I did was offer three years ago to do a network inside of a network because I saw where Genesis was going, mm -hmm. and I wanted to alleviate the responsibility of them with this Patriot programming, so they could do more mainstream stuff. Yeah, and yeah. they're also pushing all the herbals and all that stuff too. Yeah, there you like, go. That's the power of doing it. Hey but Tim, like I said, yeah. uh, I, the whole reason I found you is. Uh, because of Alex and Jack, and I'm going to continue listening to you. I just hope uh, you guys can work it out and work together. You know? Well, and and you know what? But I can't lay down with dogs because I get fleas. Either we got to be better in what we do, or we just join the other side. What's the point? Thanks for your call. The American. 
and dreams has become a nightmare. Signs of the time on cardboard on corners in town. There's a cancer called crime in our cities and an unspoken fear. We're on our way down. We must take America back. Put an end to the gangs and the drugs in the streets and the fact. Great, folks. We're back, and I'll tell you what, uh, we've got waiting in the wings uh, Victor Thorne and Lisa Giuliani from Wing TV. And if they'll just hold on one second, I want to clear these phone calls out so we can just get in, end that segment, and get into uh, 9-11 on trial, the World Trade Center collapse. Uh, outstanding book. And, and we'll talk to these fine folks in just a few minutes. Uh, Hank in Texas. Thanks for holding, Hank. Yeah, hello, John. Uh, listen, I want to tell you, uh, you, you've done a great thing there, and uh, I, I wish you the best. I wish Jack the best. We've got a, a big thing to do uh, to educate folks, and, um, uh, and that, you know, people do things. Sometimes they make mistakes, and I, I just say uh, forget it and move on with your mission. Well, we, we, we have we have no choice, but you, uh, you got to understand something, and 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 this is the honest God's truth. I, I'm not I'm not embellishing, I'm not lying. Jack actually said to my wife, "I would sell out if the price was right," and she was astonished by that statement. She looked at him and said, "My husband never would." Here's my point. We how can here's what happens to people when they have their metal tested, when things are the darkest or things are the worst, that's when you start to see people's true character. And the point of it is that a, why be like mainstream, get up and you got the gift of gab and you got the glitz and the glamour and the blah, 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 and da, 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 but there's nothing behind it. We have got to field better people out there. We are trying to, Hank, trying to demonstrate a better way of doing things. Like Remember, like we used to do. We used to deal with people honestly and forthright. You know, there weren't contracts. It was a meeting of the eyes and a shaking of the hand. Either we do this and demand that of ourselves, or as I said earlier, just sell out and take the paycheck because they pay better. Well, uh, you're right, uh, and uh, but we can't we can't control other people's no. behavior. No, and no, so the best thing not. to do is all right. That that's an event that occurred, and now. Let's move on, and um, you know, I, I I get very concerned if uh, if people in the patriot movement are arguing with each other over what is right, and uh, and so I I'd say no. Generally, uh, Hank, it's tactics. It, it generally the argument is over tactics, not to what's right or wrong. We can all agree, probably ninety-five to ninety-eight percent of what's right and what's wrong. It's the, the the problem comes in is when the the tactics they don't agree with a person's tactic. And they'll right. and they'll butcher each other and scratch each other's eyes out over it. Mm -hmm. That's what I find. I, and I'll give you an example: uh, Republic of Texas down here. You guys had a fine organization down here. Where is it at now? People got in there and literally destroyed it. Thanks for your call, Hank. I appreciate it very much. Okay. Katie in Texas. Hello, Katie. Hi. Hi. Um, today, Jack did not slander your show or your network. No, he didn't I, tell the truth either. And I listened. I started listening to him back when he was in Providence, and Jack was already an established radio host and very popular. At, and at, he w, at WARF, me to, 